And Madison Washington had escaped from slavery. He escaped, but his wife didn't. And so he came back for his wife and got re-enslaved again. He's put on this ship sold by Robert Lumpkin to... Our history class recently had the opportunity to walk the historic Richmond Slave Trail. We saw where the slaves got off the boat all the way to the field which they were sold. We also saw a lot about Lumpkin's Slave Jail. Slave jails, primarily found in big cities such as Richmond and Boston, were hellish places where slaves were either kept to be sold or punished for various acts. Called the Purgatory for the Rebellious, these jails kept slaves in six to eight feet rooms where they would be chained to the wall. In Boston, a writer with the Smithsonian named Abigail Tucker wrote that the slaves' limbs would swell so badly from the shackles that puddles of blood and pus would form. The article also told of whipping rooms and iron bars found in these jails. Found children's dolls. A slave jail in Boston was found to hold babies. Bernie wrote specifically about two babies, one four months years old and one 24 months years old, but both kept there since they were one month. One of the most infamous slave jails was Lumpkin Slave Jail. Found in the lowest place in Richmond, Shaco Bottom, called the Devil's Half Acre by Robert Lumpkin himself. The slaves would be fed bad meat, and quote just enough water to survive they'd be forced to stew in their own filth and whipped and logged so one can assume the grotesque human who ran this jail cared none about the feelings and lives of these slaves yet robert lumpkin the boss himself fell in love and had five children with his slave mary lumpkin who took his last name in lieu of marrying him since that was illegal not only did she Im did he impregnate this woman five times jesus christ but he also sent two, his, two of his children off to an anti-slave state to protect them. He also left all his assets to Mary, including his slave jail. So that begs our question, what was Robert Lumpkin's true feelings about slavery? Well, that's a complicated question that we've struggled to answer. What we can say for sure is that Robert Lumpkin was a disgusting human being who raped his property, light-skinned slave Mary Lumpkin, enough that she bore five children. He did send his family away to Philadelphia so they wouldn't be sold back into slavery. But in 1865, when Richmond fell to the anti-slavery union, he made a last-stitch broken attempt to sell his last stock of slaves. Lumpkin died in 1866 and left all his assets to Mary, including his slave jail, which she'd ended up selling to a Baptist minister named Nathaniel Culver, who wanted to build a black seminary. We can see that Lumpkin never had a change of heart due to his attempt to sell slaves up to the last minute he could. But do you think he only cared? for his family due to them having extremely light skin to the point that historians could describe Mary and his children as white? Or do you think that he would have cared for his family regardless of their skin complexion? Over in Egypt's land, you shall gain the victory. Way over in Egypt's land, brother, you gonna gain the day.